Hey girl. Hey girl, hey. No, that's the other side of the other See you hey Okay, so I'm trying to get my camera right because, uh, you know, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do when you start now. So. Okay, so I'm gonna get my seat up because I was sitting up a little too close to low on me. Can y'all see me? That's high as I can get. The wheel is in the way, so it's like really weird. I'm gonna move it like that way. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Praise God. So, really, really quick. Oh, well, first and foremost, I want to praise God for who He is, and I appreciate you clicking on this video. Um, so, uh, thank God for just um, being who He is, and like, He's just a good guy. I'm gonna say that every time I get, get on here from, in my intro, He's just so good because it's like it's like so breathtaking to explain or just talk about his goodness you know um and yeah so um on yesterday well today is sunday and on yesterday i was uh what was it yesterday i think it was, i think it was, I, believe, I, believe, I, believe, I believe it was yesterday morning and i believe the lord started to deal with me about not being in my feelings and um and Tell basically feelings and flesh. I thought somebody was walking over. But anyway, um, he started to be hard to deal me with the word, um, you know, feelings and flesh, and um, and he was just trying to you know, like deal me with that with those two words, and we have to learn how to uh, worship God in spirit and in truth and. We have to learn how to not let our emotions control us. And when I what I mean by emotions, what I mean by emotion is feelings, because emotions are feelings. And we have to learn how to um, deal with that on a mature level. And so um, the scripture uh, that I want to elaborate on, uh, I'm. I'm gonna have it below this this video, but it talks about how, um, for instance, like you can be angry but sin not, and so yes, God gives us emotions and feelings to process information, to process things. For instance, like when you lost a loved one, and your feelings is that you're sad and you're crying, you should should cope with that and let that process. And the same way if someone makes you upset and angry, yes, it's okay to be upset and angry, but it's not good to walk in anger, you know, because it leads to other things and like it can, uh, it could lead to sin and things that you may do or say and you won't, you can't, you know, take it back. And, um, so on that note, I was talking about, I was, um, believe the Lord was dealing with me about how, um, don't don't be out in your feelings and don't operate out of your feelings to just um he said don't be he said get in the spirit get in his get in his spirit and don't let your emotions control you um and you you would and i had to really like this like this sounds easy to, to do like it sounds very simple but we really like think about it and like just sit back and really think about it like sometimes we let emotions control us um and we're not careful about how we handle um whatever may the whatever the may may the case may be if someone says something or did something like or just if you did someone said something because it's actions we have to know how to process information but we don't allow ourselves to become something out of the out of the like you could be sad but some like for instance some like for me i had real i had found out i had a uh, an infection from the doctor um i was so sad to where i got depressed like i was living in it i didn't tell nobody what's going on um i was like keeping it all to myself you know 
come to find out y'all uh, got, got away from toxic people and I had got to a point where I'm desperate so I can get my get get healed from this because you got to for one want to want help and so um I got to a place where I got a place got into a place where I got away from toxic people and all of the sort and I said you know what let me get to a place in God where I'm around the right people at the right time and getting the information that I need to help help me heal from this okay um so fast forward like I get to where um I get to a place in my life where I'm connected with the right people my, my apostle my first lady they tell me the books I need to read the place I need to go then come to find out I'm connected with uh, someone else about um uh, a medicine I took and um and then I found out that I was mis I was misdiagnosed it did so I was like looking back and I was like depressed for nothing but like had I would have been a lot sooner sooner to get information no telling how I would have been a little further a little further in the, in, in that area but praise God I was able to get help though but anyway I went ahead and got help and I got help in those areas and um I was even in the, I was in the in the press so I sat there and I um uh, reached out when I got the help that I needed I realized that I didn't have to live in depression I didn't have to live in those feelings uh yes I was sad but I didn't have to live in it and I was depressed for a long time and didn't tell nobody so um <laughs> I don't think about it really is talking about this but I probably like one of the first to talk about this I don't know I'm not I'm probably not the first and I'm probably not the last but I do know that it's not talked about a lot and so um come to find out I was I wasn't even I was me that I know and that I'm healed <laughs> and I'm delivering I'm set free and I'm not just saying that cliche like I am and um I got right I got around the right people uh, I got counseling you know I got spiritual counseling uh and I'm just in a better state of mindset because the truth of the matter is it could affect your 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 beliefs and it could affect your mind body and spirit and um so we have to learn how to like process information you know we can have emotions god gives emotions um we shouldn't live in those though um because if we're not careful we'll like sit here and we'll live in something that god didn't even said that it didn't even it didn't plan to be that way but it could be different for your avenue if we just like believe god will will um will move get the glory out of all of this so i pray that this has blessed you i pray that you're saved and living and set free on um, whatever emotions that you're dealing with um i for one got help I cried out to God. I uh, asked God to lead and guide me to the right people, the right resources, and the information that I need to be um, delivered from uh, what I was in. Um, and once I did, uh, I felt better. Um, and I believe God would. I had believed. I believed God to do it um, because we can say we want help. We can say we need help. We can say that we. Um, want deliverance we can say all those things and but what are we doing really about it uh, are we really reaching out are we really because you are we really reaching out are we really declaring it in our action because at the end of the day you got to want it you do so i hope everything and so i hope that something i said made sense and i hope that something i said reached someone and to the meantime y'all be blessed and y'all stay in the word in Jesus' name. Amen.